Hi, this is Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to walk you through the new feature in Analysis Workspace, which allows you to undo a change that you've made to a project, to a table, or a visualization, um, very similar to how you would undo something in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. So this should be a pretty quick video. Uh, but uh, important nonetheless, this is one of the most requested features that we've had for Analysis Workspace. So I've got a simple table loaded up, and I'm going to use this to demonstrate undo. just shows product name with a couple of metrics. And uh, let's say I added something to this, uh, to this view, like I added, let's, I'll drag over conversion rate and add it as a metric. Uh, and then I'm also going to add a new breakdown. I'm going to break down... Um, this Norfolk Highland product by product finding methods, just dragging things over and putting them on the table, or I could be uh, changing the number of change the number of rows in here uh, down to down to one. So making a series of changes to the table, and and these really could be just about any changes. Now let's say this this takes me down a path of analysis that is fruitless. I, I, I come to a dead end, and I want to kind of back out the changes that I've made. I can do that in order. In the, in the order that I made the changes using, uh, or in reverse order, using undo, again, very much like I would do in another application. There are two ways to use undo. One is the keyboard shortcut that you're probably used to from uh, using any application known to man, uh, command Z or control Z. Uh, I'm actually going to do it the more manual way uh, just to show you what this looks like. So uh, under more, there is now an undo option, and you can see it actually has the keyboard shortcut listed there. And when I hit undo, the last change I made, which was, again, uh, changing the number of rows, should be backed out. And sure enough, my breakdown is still there, but the number of rows is back to 10. I happen to only have five results, but uh, if I had more, I would, I would see them. So it, sure enough, uh, that change was, was undone. Uh, now let's... Say I want to back uh, back another one out. I'm going to hit undo again, and you'll see that uh, that uh, most recent change goes away, and I can keep undoing. And you'll see I'm I'm now backed out of that uh, of that breakdown, and uh, I can even undo one more time, and I should go back to just having the two metrics, and there uh, there it is. And so uh, you can use this to take you back to a sort of a checkpoint in your mind and then go down a different branch of analysis. Um, again, one of the most requested features in Analysis Workspace, available as of January 21st, 2016 in Analysis Workspace. Uh, so hopefully that makes your analysis much more efficient uh, and, uh, and more great stuff to come in Analysis Workspace in the future.